Yeah, why? Five second rule, right? What's the big deal? What if I told you that the five second rule doesn't exist and eating that slice of pizza could make you really sick? What do you mean? Let me tell you. When you drop food on the ground, do you know what happens to the food? Does it get dirty? Not exactly. Germs can get on it. What's a germ? Germs are tiny things that can be found all over in your body, on your floor, or tables. A lot of these germs are really good for you, but some can cause diseases. Germs are so small and sneaky that they can creep into our bodies without even being noticed. We need to use a microscope to even be able to see them. We don't even know that they're in our body until we start to feel the effects that a germ has. But what do these germs do to your body? Well, there are different types of germs, such as bacteria or viruses, which can get into our bodies and make us feel sick. Once germs are in our bodies, they try to stay there for as long as possible. They use up the food we eat to feed our bodies, use up our energy, and can produce poisons for the body. These poisons can cause things like fevers, rashes, coughing, vomiting, or even diarrhea. Wait a minute. What does this have to do with my pizza? Did you know that every year, 76 million people get sick because of the food in the United States alone? That's more than two times the amount of people living in Canada. Some of these people could have gotten sick because germs got into their food, making their tummy feel funny. But will my food get germs from falling on the ground? Yes, it will. Scientists have studied germs to find out what foods they like most, and they also studied what types of floors will transfer the most amount of germs. Let's take a look at what types of food germs like best. More germs will be found on your food if the food you've dropped is wet. So foods like watermelon or cucumber slices will pick up germs when dropped compared to dry foods like bread or cheese. What about the floors? Do different types of floors change the amount of germs that get into my food? Floors that have carpets can't transfer bacteria to your food easily. This is because the carpet has many small bumps and holes in it, so germs can hide from the food. Smoother floors like wood and tiles don't have any places for the germs to hide, so it's easier for the germs to move on to the food. Okay, that makes sense. But I still think that five seconds isn't enough time for the germs to get onto my food. It takes even less than five seconds. The germs start moving onto your food right away, although the longer it stays on the floor, the more times it has for the germs to move over. Scientists found that when the food was dropped even for one second, they were able to find germs on it. Yuck! It's important to know that the floors aren't the only place where germs can be found. They can even be found on your kitchen table, your hands, or the forks and knives you use to eat. So it's important to make sure you wash your hands and keep your house as clean as possible so you won't get sick. Now I totally understand the five second rule, but I'm still kind of hungry. Don't worry kid, we can always get you another slice. Thanks so much for watching. For more information on various fun topics, subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel below.